Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm wearing my Hocus Pocus shirt. It says Sisters. I think I got this on Etsy maybe. I don't know, I got it last year. Speaking of, I'm so sad. I went to, so Dunkin' Donuts, which is my favorite. We only have a couple here in Columbus. I saw on TikTok that somebody had, or Duncan was selling the Hocus Pocus cups. They glow in the dang dark. And it says, Hocus Pocus, I need Duncan to focus. I ran to my Duncan yesterday and they don't have them. So I'm super sad, but I will live. Just wanted to throw that out there. Um, so I've got this Dollar Tree haul for you. Most of it is um, holiday, Christmas, let's be honest. It's all Christmas stuff. And, um, yeah, so let's get started. So I picked up some gift wrap. I love this with the deer on it. You could use this to decorate if you do like a rustic. This is Holiday House, which is Dollar Tree. And it's 40 square feet. And on the back, they do have the grid to help you cut. So I love these for decorating, but I also love it for wrapping presents. And I thought the boys gifts for my brothers would look fun in that. Then I found the Buffalo check, same thing, 40 feet. It is Holiday House. I'm gonna probably use this for decorating. I know some stores got the vinyl. Sorry, I'm moving stuff so I can move my foot because my foot's asleep. Uh, they have vinyl, but I haven't seen any of the printed vinyl in my stores. We just have, um, what do we have? The plain colors. So I grabbed this to decorate with, maybe for some DIYs. Um, oh, I should say there's gonna be some gnomes in here. I'm super excited. Um, I did find this Santa, he's perfect. It just says Merry Christmas. I love it, I'm not doing anything to it. There is some glitter, but not a lot of fallout. But if it bothers you, go ahead and spray it with some hairspray and you will not have an issue. And I just love the little bit of detail up here and the print, it's everything. This is perfect. Let's put it over here. Cause you know, we have to do our thumbnail. Okay. And then I found the little elf and I think they've had these before. I don't know, I just thought he was adorable. He's super soft and squishy. I mean, this would be great. I know elf on a shelf is a thing. Um, I don't know if it's still a thing. I don't have littles, but this elf is gonna sit on my shelf and he's so soft and squishy, guys. This is good quality here. And his little nose and his face is not creepy. His ears might be a little creepy, but he's an elf, he's supposed to be. So I got him. I gotta separate my stuff, guys, from what goes upstairs and what goes into the decor area in the basement. Okay, I found my 3D little set up and I wanted to put it together for you. So this is everything that it comes with. You get, this one is the Santa one. So this is what comes in there. I don't love the Xmas, so I won't use that. But you get a tree, which is green glitter, candy canes. You get the Santa on his, with a toy. And I think he's supposed to be in a sleigh. And then these trees, which are connected. If you just want to use these trees in some type of a scene or on a painting or something, grab a bunch of them and just glue them together and put them down. I love the trees. And then it comes with this base. You can paint this. You don't have to paint this. It doesn't make a difference. I grabbed some for the kids, my little cousins. They're teenagers. They probably don't want to do this. But I did buy it for them, and I will make them feel bad if they won't sit down and color with me because I find that they need to do that not really um I did find some of these stickers and I love them I love the gold for Christmas and I think they're going to be great to decorate with and you've seen them before so I'm trying not to show you all the things you've already seen okay the wood guys the wood is killing it this year first of all look at him my little elf I love him he is so cute and let me tell you, I am so impressed with the Dollar Tree this year that they are doing inclusive decor. Brown Santa, there's brown Santa, brown elves, everything. I have another ornament in here that I can't wait to put out. 
anybody can have this, but for those littles, why can't they have decor that represents them? And I think it's fantastic. And I am so happy that Dollar Tree has kind of stepped up their game and really became inclusive, you know? I'm off my soapbox now, but I love this elf and he says Merry Christmas. Um, I'm trying to put all my wooden stuff together so I can show you that. Um, they came back out with these. These are the Korean, they're like Pockies, but these are pep Pepperos. This one is almond and chocolate on a breadstick. So I am having, we're getting an Airbnb for Christmas and everybody's kind of coming and going at different times so we can do small groups this year. And I want to put out by the coffee bar some snacks. So I've been picking these up. Nothing that I'm going to utilize because of my diabetes, but the family will. All right, some other things I found. Um, I grabbed these leg warmers because I'm going to do a DIY with them, not wear them. I mean, I don't think these would ever fit on my leg. And if they did, they certainly wouldn't bunch up. I think they're great for kids, but I have a DIY for these and I will give you a hint, it involves a bottle of wine. So if you need to gift some wine this year, you want to do something a little different, uh, but if you don't want to do something different and gift some wine, I found one of these like straight stockings. It's a wine bottle bag and it has the uh, mermaid on the front. And this one was gold and red and I saw silver and red, but my store literally had two. Now, if you don't want to gift wine, this is great for crafting. You can use the fake fur up here for a project. You can use this. You can turn this into a gnome. A million things you can do, but I grabbed it because I do. Speaking of gnomes, I got a gnome stocking in the red. So I have the red and gray and my plan is to put dog treats and gifts in each of these. And I have two, I have Storm and Jody. And if I really feel creative, I will put their name on their stocking and fill it with treats for them because I am that extra, guys. Just be aware, I am that extra. Um, I found one more package of these little box candy boxes or favor boxes. I just think the size is perfect for a small gift. So I have, I think four packages of these now, which means I have 16 favor boxes. I'm kind of grabbing them when I see them because I'm thinking about my work gifts for my coworkers in here. So I grabbed a pa another one of those because that is all I have seen of that. All right, let's get into some wood, shall we? Um, first off, I found the little globe or the ornament shape, and these are nice and thick. I'm thinking like coaster would be fabulous. Ornaments, obviously, and then I grabbed a bell. Now, it is rough around the edges, so you're definitely going to have to sand, sand this down, but Dollar Tree sells sandpaper, too. Um, I showed you in another haul the other two that I bought, but this is the reindeer and it does light up. And it's a very, oh here. It's a warm light, so it's more yellow than blue. And I think this is gonna be fantastic in my tiered tray or on a little shelf that I have. And I got this, I got a, the car or the truck and I got a snowflake. The snowflake is definitely for winter. Um, but these are gonna be for Christmas and you can paint them or not. I like them in the raw wood. I'm not doing a darn thing to these other than putting them in a display. Um, this isn't wood, but they do have some more. These out this year with the glitter and your name and these are ornaments, I think, but I use them on like packages and my last name begins with an S. So I get lots of S's because that's how we roll. And I found these wood letters. Now this is MDF, it does not take the spray paint very well. So if you're going to wanna paint these, use chalk paint or a couple layers of acrylic paint. You could Mod Podge these, you could put the stickers with the glitter. Oh, there's so many things you can do. So I grabbed three of the S's for my family. Um, to utilize. And then I got an L for me. The S's would be one for my brother and his wife's package, one for my niece's package, and one for mine. And then they can reuse them as ornaments or not. I don't care. I mean, I won't know what they do with them, right? Um, more on the wood. I have the sleighs. I am so happy that I found these. I've already used this one in a DIY. 
and I want to find a couple more. There's one that has like grooves in it and it has a piece of wood across here. I would like to find those, but these are super fun and they're nice and big. So trays, shelves, vignettes, set it down, put a candy dish on it, put anything, a little tree near it. I mean, there's just so much you could do. Lean it up against a bottle brush, lean it up against your Christmas tree. I mean, cute, cute, cute. And I've only seen them out one time. All right, speaking of bottle brush trees, I found the miniatures and they come in two sizes in the package. So you get a tall and a short and they came in green and silver and gold and white. How fun is that guys? I love them. And these are perfect for vignettes or putting in globes or ornaments or anything. Tiny and easy and cheap. Then I just thought this was so unique. It's like a banner, but it's chalkboard. I wouldn't use chalk on it, but maybe like a white marker, but it's only got the thing at the top and it can hang and you could put like Christmas signs, you know, like sledding this way, or you could put it for your coffee bar and hang it or whatever. Use this any time of year. This is not a Christmas crafty thingy. I just got it to have because I had never seen it and I thought it was pretty unique. You know, lots of ideas. Um, I'm dying with all these little miniature pieces that they have come out with. Look at the little gingerbread people. These do not have holes drilled in them, which is nice. You don't have to fill them. Stars, same thing, no holes in those. I think 4th of July for those. Um, the bells, again, Christmas bells, but you could also decorate for 4th of July with these. These have the hole at the top, but that doesn't even bother me because it looks like it belongs there. And the same thing with the snowflakes. They have the hole in the center, but again, you know, snowflakes have holes in them. Now I may make a garland for winter with these and use the bead to hold them so they lay flat. And you get 14 pieces of each in these little wood cutouts and I think they're fantastic and add just that little bit of something you know when you're making a craft and you need a little something all right this is it for wood and like the skeletons which I think they did the skeletons better these are okay but I'm not about painting them but we have an elf and they are jointed and I may end up taking them apart and using like his little feet for something. I don't know. That sounded bizarre. But we have the elf, a snowman. Okay, I'm just weirded out because snowman shouldn't have feet. I don't know. And Santa. And look at him. Isn't it great? He should have feet. So I grabbed one of each. This is all I've seen. I don't think there's a reindeer, but that would be fantastic if there was. So I grabbed the three of those. I'm not sure what I'll do with them. We'll see. Oh, guys, I found the gnomes. I got one of each. So this is the scarlet and gray. We're gonna call this a Buckeye one. I need to iron on here, go Bucks. Or sticker. He's got his little hat. And I love these little cover his ear flap hats. And then they had just red and white. I can't remember if these are the same from last year, but when I unpack Christmas, I'll find out. And then they had just gray. These are definitely gonna go in my bedroom. This year, I'm kinda gonna go with a little Nomi Nordic thing, I believe, in my bedroom. So I did get one of each of those. I feel like I'm going super fast here, guys, but I'm just trying to make a short one because I've got so much stuff to show you. But I'm breaking it up into shorter videos. Okay, the last of the stuff. I did get a reindeer sign. We're gonna make him Rudolph, of course, of course. I like that he hangs up. I'm wondering if I could do something like hang some ornaments or something off his ears or his antlers. I don't know. I needed the reindeer in my life. So I grabbed him. 
And again with the color inclusivity. Look at the little Santas. Guys, these can make fantastic earrings. But I'm just gonna use them as little ornaments for my tiny tree, but I love him. Definitely wanna, when I use these little ornaments, I glue the tops on because they are cheap. But I love them. So I grabbed some little Santas. And then I bought these stars for my trees, my little miniature trees. And then I saw they had buffalo check ones, but I had already committed to these. So this is what we're using this year, but I am gonna decorate them up a little bit. So I'll have to show you when I get there, but I liked these because they light up. I don't have the, here we go. And they're kind of fun. Although I would have preferred if they weren't colorful. But I like them. They're good. Just go around my house and turn everything on. I will tell you though, I'm such a lazy light person. Literally everything I have is on timers. <laughs> because it's just easier. Oh, snow globes. Guys, these are double, if not triple the size that I saw before. What? Huge. You can add water to these, glycerin, and make a real snow globe, but I wouldn't store them. I would probably dump them, clean them out, and then redo them the next year. Or you can just put um, fake snow in them and glue like trees and stuff in here and put fake snow at the bottom, which is what I typically do. I did get a couple ribbons for this year because this one had a black dog on it and I just thought it was adorable. And it also has the dog in the back of the truck instead of the Christmas tree and then the buffalo check. So I have that. Oh, and I grabbed one more of these large ornaments. Guys, you gotta grab these, they're huge. I already did one DIY, but I have two more. And if you have a big tiered tray, these would be fabulous, like a really good statement piece in your tiered tray. So I grab those and just a couple more little things. I found this shape jar, which to me is like a pumpkin, but it could also be an ornament. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I just got the one, but I wanted to show you it's round. So you could make, put like a, um, a hanger on the top and make it like a Christmas bulb and put candy or hot chocolate in it or something. And then speaking of your hot chocolate bar guys, the mini candy dishes. What the heck? It has a screw on lid. This is glass. It has the flat bottom. If you're doing a cocoa bar or something, you need this in your life. They have the little scoops in the wedding section and you can put hot cocoa, marshmallows, crushed up candy canes. These, and if you wanted like a lid, you could put like a fake um, bead or something on there. These are everything, everything. And then the last thing I have, I grabbed one of these. I like to give them as gifts with um, cookies in them. I don't know how my lid won't come off. Oh, that's a good sign. I wonder if it's taped on there. I don't think so. Oh no, it isn't. This has a good seal guys. It'll keep your cookies fresh, but it has the little gnomes on it. I just got one. Again, if you're doing a coffee bar or a hot chocolate bar, these things are fantastic for that. Because I mean, these are perfect. You can use these year after year. You could do some cricketing on it. You can put a sticker up here that says cocoa, marshmallow. Oh, I'm obsessed. That is everything. Under 20 minutes. Did it. I don't know why I was wanting to get under 20 minutes, but I didn't want to waste your time or my time. I have another video coming out very shortly with a whole another DIY or yeah, I have DIYs coming, but a whole nother Dollar Tree haul. All right, guys, thank you. And I will talk to you later.